Welcome back everyone to Modded Minecraft 1.7. Today is the final episode of Season 1. We're going to fight the Gaia Guardian. I don't know anything about him other than what I've read in the change logs, so uh, let's go ahead and make sure these two guys have armor. They're going to go with us into battle. Uh, what have we got? Oh, that's, that's garbage. Anything else? Uh, oh, let's give him the Man of Steel helmet. Why not? Larry, you can have the Man of Steel helmet. And uh, these are pets from the Pets mod, by the way. Oh, that localization doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to look into a way to fix that. Uh, yes, this is. these are from a mod that I created called Silence Pets, if you can't read Wayla. So today, we're doing the Gaia Guardian. And, oh, I already made the, the mana pearls I needed. I'll go ahead and make a few more. Doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and tell these guys to follow us. So we're going to need to, oh, that sounded painful. What did you do? All right, well... We're going to need to open the Elven Gateway Portal. We need to trade a few things with the Elves here. And, oh, don't have to wander the forest. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I did tell, uh, tear apart the cobble generator. It's just too much noise. So, I don't know if I should wait for all of this to come through before I throw in the, the diamonds as well. I think I only need one or two of the dragon stone, but I'm going to throw in eight. Might as well be prepared. Actually, I don't need dragon stone to fight the Gaia Guardian. That's for something else I wanted to try at the end of this episode. Okay, so now we need to make the Gaia pylons, which are made like that, so pretty expensive item. Hoping they don't get destroyed or anything, surely they don't. And the beacon as well, the beacon, that's expensive. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one. I think I do have another nether star in my ME system, but we'll just use this. Alright, so let's go out somewhere. I think right around here is probably good. So we need to set up the beacon again. And pylon should be one block above the beacons and from the base it's one, two, three diagonally. One, two, three. Then like that, I think. One, two, three. And I'm just doing the cobblestone to help me figure out where it is. So if we put the Gaia pylons on top of this, that should be what we need to do. Oops. So I've got elementium armor. And, oh, I don't know if I need a bow or not. Uh, let's go grab a bow really quickly. Actually, I can just teleport. Oops. That's not what I meant. Teleport. And I've got this bow. I use it to help me fight the wither. And arrows. It's infinity, so I don't need any arrows, really. And a terra steel. I think you put that on top of the beacon. Is that why I have it? I don't know. Pixie dust and 
I heard that flight gets disabled when you fight the Gaia Guardian. Pretty much everything I know comes from Botania change logs. Oh no! Oh no! Castro died. We're down a pet. Because he teleported stupidly, apparently. You okay, Larry? Larry's okay. Well, Castro's dead. Darn it, gonna have to bury another pet. Maybe two by the end of this episode. So, is that all I needed to do? Something's wrong. Oh, shift right click. Okay. Oh, no. Also, whatever f effect you have on the beacon is disabled. Um. Okay. He looks a lot like me. Oh. Yikes. Regen, regen. Okay, this doesn't look very good. He's got some kind of dark pixies. Oh, and I can't get away from the area either. Where is he? <laughs> I can't tell where he is. Okay, well I think we're ok kinda okay, but we're running out of regen really quickly here. Larry, you're so worthless. Let's go for melee for a little bit. No, that's a bad idea. Need to regen again. Ah, darn it. if I'm doing anything to him when I hit him. I mean, I know his bar has gone down, but the arrows just bounce off. Out of regen too. We can't do this. Come on, give me a little bit. Can I like hide? I'm the one who kills Larry. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna feel bad. Uh, Not good. Uh, but at least Larry's helping with that zombie that came out of nowhere. This is a terrible fight. I can't even tell what's hurting me most of the time. Ah. 
Ah. Really need to protect myself for a little bit. See if I can recharge my gem. So is this guy regenerating his health? I can't really tell. Ah, it's getting to be nighttime. It's not good. Nobody told me this is an all-day thing. Come on, regen, regen. Almost got him. Come on. Oh, Larry looked like he tried to attack him, but he couldn't. Darn it. I should have upgraded this Chaos Gem before I came here, or made one that's devoted to regen. That would have been smart. I should have made it so that it recharges faster. Oh well, we can do this. No, I'm almost dead. Oh, Larry scared me. Holy cow. It's just all I can do to keep my health up. Wait, is he dead? He can't be dead, can he? I don't know, something's still hurting me. Well, I can fly again, but where's his drops? Oh, there they are. Wow, and he dropped a ton of XP. Oh, eight Gaia Spirits. Wow. That guy was tough. So, fighting that guy, you probably want some place that you can hide, I'm guessing. And you definitely want something to give you lots and lots of regen, if you can. Bring a ton of regen and healing potions, or if you have my mod, bring a chaos gem. Upgrade it with uh, either boost or capacity, probably boost, so that it recharges faster. Maybe both. <laughs> oh, I had three nether stars. I definitely could have uh, upgraded it. All right, so there's several things that we can do with Gaia Spirits. Well, there's actually quite a few things. Uh, one thing I wanted to try making is the Shard of Laputa. So let's go ahead and do that. So gonna need some kind of flower, pasture seeds. How do I get pasture seeds? Throwing grass into a mana pool. Okay. So let's do that. And that goes over a piece of dirt with any kind of flower, I thought. Glimmering white fountain. Oh, glimmering. Hang on. Alright, sorry about that, so we just need to combine the flower with two glowstone dust first. So let's put the guy's spirits in here. And we are missing... Prismarine shards. Okay, that's something else that we need to make. So, to make prismarine, we need... Throw nether quartz in a mana pool with an alchemy catalyst below it. 
and I've taken the liberty of making an alchemy catamist already. And I'll show you what you do with it. You basically just put it below a mana pool, like so. And that kind of changes the bottom of the mana pool. So we can do additional transformation things. So we've got prismarine shards. These are, they look just like the prismarine sh uh, shards from the 1.8 snapshots. And their, their entry even says that they uh, come from the future. So that's kind of funny. So the Shard of Laputa. This is supposed to make a floating island. And I don't know how big the island is. I'm going to go ahead and do a backup really quickly here. And see, does it have any instructions on how to use it? Okay, I guess you just right click it somewhere. So let's just go ahead and uh, maybe click it around here on this hilltop. Let's see what it does. Okay. And I hear blocks being moved. It's moving stuff up into the sky. It says it could take upwards of 10 minutes. That is awesome looking. <laughs> wow. Alright, so let's take a look at what this has done. It's basically carved a spear out of the ground below it and lifted it up into the ground, or into the sky. <laughs> Not into the ground, the ground is down there. So that's pretty cool. I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more randomized, but that's still pretty awesome. 
Got a little bitty floating island now. I, I wish it was a little bit bigger, honestly. Oh, there's Larry. What you doing, Larry? Oh, my HUD's still off. <laughs> Alright, so we're pretty much done with everything I had planned. We've fought the Gaia Guardian. We've gone into the Deep Dark last episode. Uh, we made the Shard of Laputa and put a little floating island up into the sky. What else is there to do? Uh, I guess all we have to do is bury Castro, so... Let's go ahead and do that. We need a, a skystone block, a sign, and some gravel. And just head on down to the pet graveyard, maybe sleep till day first. Okay, and after this, I'm going to talk about Season 2 a little bit. Wait. Here. So, let's put the gravel down here. And... Castro the pig is the one who's buried here. Uh, wait, is that capitalized? No. Castro the pig. Uh, let's see. He hit the ground too hard. Uh, what do we say? Stubbed his toe while teleporting. No! Stubbed his toe teleporting. Poor Castro. You had a few teleportation accidents, and it was not very good for your health. Larry is the sole pet to survive this season. That and maybe some of the random unnamed ones that I uh, teleported away from and forgot where they were. Uh, so, let's go over them really quickly. First was Rasputin the sheep. He was killed by a wither. He lasted through the first one, but he died on the second. Stalin, he lasted through the first two and died on the third one, I believe. Maybe the fourth. Uh, Mao Zedong the cow, he... I don't know for sure how he died, but I think he sat on my crucible and burned up. So, we managed to get through the season without completely filling up our graveyard. That's a good thing. <sighs> I'm gonna miss this world in a way. I mean, I could always load it back up, assuming I still have all the mods and stuff. And I will make a backup, of course. So next season, we're going to be keeping pretty much all the same mods. We're going to be adding some, however. And when I say some, I mean a lot. Uh, I think I've got close to 100 mods on the pack that I've been testing so far. And we've got Thermal Expansion 4, finally. And that created kind of a, a mod release explosion when that came out. Like, 10 more mods came out that were just waiting for TE4. And now we finally got it, and I'm very eager to play with it. I've taken a peek at some of the stuff it has. It doesn't look like it's added, like, a, a ton of stuff. Uh, it does have, like, upgradable machines now, which looks really cool. I haven't messed with them yet. And I noticed you can make them with different machine blocks. Like, there's a basic or a hardened or reinforced, and I assume that gives you, like, more upgrade slots or something like that. I don't know. So that's really cool. We got some more progression in TE, which is always a good thing. Ah, this has been my favorite world. Out of all the Minecraft LPs I've done, I've done Direwolf 2164. I've done Feed the Beast Monster. Uh, I did a server play series on Direwolf 20 and currently doing one on Tekkit. This is my favorite, by far. I love this world, and <laughs> I hope everyone else has enjoyed this series as much as I do, and I hope the next one is just as good, if not better. So next time, we'll be going on to Modded Minecraft 1.7 Season 2. Tons of new mods, biomes of plenty, thermal expansion 4, and all the stuff that we've already gotten familiar with, all updated to Minecraft 
one seven ten. So I will see you there. Maybe we'll see Larry, and for sure we will be seeing the real plan box again. So as always, don't forget you can subscribe if you haven't already and you want to keep up with my videos. Leave a like or a comment on this one if you want to, and I will see you next time.